This tutorial will cover entering the inspection data on the Pocket PC. In this tutorial, we'll, we will be showing you how to record inspection data and add pictures to a report using a Pocket PC. We are now looking at the main Palm Tech Inspector screen on the Pocket PC. We want to start a new inspection, so we'll click New. We have a list of different forms available, which are the same as the ones that are available on your desktop computer. We want to use the master template, so we'll click on Master, and then click OK. And this will bring up the master template, but first we need to give the file a name. We're going to name this file Test. You can use the handwriting recognition on the Pocket PC to type in text, and then it'll transfer it to typed text. After you've named your file, hit OK. At the top of the screen is where you can choose a category. We'll click on the drop-down arrow to see our category list. Let's choose lots and grounds and start entering our inspection information. On the left of each line is the rating drop-down. In the middle is a place for the description. And on the right you have a note button where you can enter a note about that particular item when you find a problem. Also in the middle you can see your different inspection points. If something is partially cut off, like on our steps and stoops line, you can just tap on it and it will bring up the entire prompt. Let's start by inspecting the driveway. We look at the driveway and determine that it is acceptable. It's made out of asphalt. And we're ready to move on to walk. We're going to say that the walks are also acceptable and that they're made out of brick. As we walk a little further, we see that there are also some concrete walks. So we'll click the drop down again and click on the plus sign that's to the left of concrete. As you can see now, it has both brick and concrete in the description. So we're ready to move on to steps and stoops, and we're going to say that they're acceptable. But when we click on the drop-down list, we don't see what we're looking for. So what we're going to do is click on the box, and simply type in our answer. To do this, we're going to click on the hand in the bottom right hand of the corner of the screen. When the bar across the bottom shows up, like here, you'll know that the pocket PC is ready to receive handwriting. As you are able to as you saw earlier, you're able to write right on the screen. And it takes what you write and turns it into text. We also have the option to use an on-screen keyboard. Using the keyboard, you can simply start typing in words. And as you can see, it will help you finish words as you type. We are now done with steps and stoops, and we're ready to move on to porch. As we move on, the program asks you if you want to add what we just typed into our drop-down list. And if we say yes from now on, when you do an inspection, 
then what we typed in will be available in our drop-down list, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and close the keyboard so we can see the full screen. We're going to say that the house we are inspecting does not have a porch, so we're going to mark the porch not applicable. When we mark an item as not applicable, it removes it from the report. This helps avoid questions like, why didn't you inspect my swale? So if there's no swale on the property and we mark it not applicable, it doesn't even appear in the report. That helps make your report shorter, easier to read, and also helps avoid questions. We can also do the same thing with any section of the report. For example, if we go to the basement, and the house that you're inspecting doesn't have a basement, we can mark the basement not applicable, and it won't show up on the report. If you hit the drop down for your category list, you see that basement has an X by it, and that means the section has been completed. Let's go back to the lots and grounds and to the patio. We're going to say that the patio is marginal, and it's made out of concrete. And then since it's marginal, we want to talk about what the problem is. To do that, we're going to click on the note. We're going to say that the concrete is pitted and chipped, and also that the patio is settling towards the foundation. As you can see, when you click on items from our common drop-down list, it adds them to the box below, which is what's going to appear on the actual report. When we're done with this note, we can just click OK, and then we can move on. We're going to say that the deck is also marginal, that it's made of treated wood, And since it's marginal, we want to talk about what the problem is, so we'll go back to the notes. We're going to say that there's some moisture damage. And also that there's an uneven rise on the steps. We're finished with this note, so we can click OK. For deck, we also want to add a picture in. Adding a picture to the report is very easy. At the end of the inspection, you can take the card out of your camera and plug it into your PDA. To add a picture in, tap and hold the stylus on the line you want to add a picture to. And then that will bring up a list and choose Add Picture. The PDA will then give you a list of all the pictures on the device, as well as on any storage card that is plugged in. We can click on a picture first, and underneath we'll get a preview of it, and then that way we can go up and down our list to find which one we're looking for. After we found the one that we are looking for, click OK. We want to make sure they see exactly what the issue is, so we're going to zoom in on the problem area. To do this, click and drag your stylus across the screen 
to draw a zoom. If you would like to learn more about how to add pictures to your inspections and to do markups to them, see the tutorial titled Adding Pictures to Your Inspections. When you are finished adding your decorations, click OK in the top right hand corner And as you can see, a picture has been added to the report. You continue working your way through the report the same way, category by category, line by line, and fill out the information as you see it. When you are finished, there are several tools available that help you review the report. There is the completeness check. The completeness check, we see everything that still needs to be filled out in the report. If we double click on an item, it will take us right to where it is. So that will be all of our information. And we just click, and that will take us right to the information we need to fill out. If we click on review again, we have edit check. Edit checks go through and perform a series of logic checks on the report. This will tell you items like if you marked something marginal or defective but didn't enter any notes about it, or if you marked something as not present but entered information about it. The spell check will check your report, and then there are summary items. Let's click on summary items. Summary items will show you everything that has been marked to go to the summary. If we click on a rating, we can bring up marginal. And then we can click on the different areas in the report and see what the note is and the information that we've entered in about them. This allows you to easily review all of the problem areas of your report. After you have finished reviewing your report, you can print it on site if you want by going to File and then Print. This concludes the tutorial on entering inspection data on the Pocket PCs.